During the birth of my second uh, daughter, it was a very hard one. And then I got a tear just through my anus. And then they switched everything. And then afterwards, after maybe seven months, I had a huge abscess. And then I had to go to, to OPE twice. And then the second one, they had to, to remove uh, a, a, a tissue from, from the muscles, from the anus, and with a very big uh, scar. Then since this time, I couldn't help when I had to go to the bathroom. I just had to run because I couldn't make it like everybody else. And it was a huge problem for me because I, I, I felt very ashamed. If something happens and I am outside of the house, how, how am I going to, to explain? How am I going to feel? It's not something that you can hide. And then uh, two years ago, I had, um, uh, um, I had cancer in my ovarium and I had to, to go to surgery again, take the, the, um, everything out and then I had to make some radiation afterwards. And then someone told me she was reading a very interesting book. It was uh, You Are the Placebo. And then I, I bought the book, I read the book, I started doing the, the meditations. And then I could understand why I got cancer. I just thought to myself, when I found out that I had it, I felt like betrayed for my body because I thought to myself, I am a happy person. I am in a happy relationship. I do what I love. Uh, I'm positive. I just don't drink, don't, uh, don't, uh, uh, don't smoke. I treat my body, I pamper my body. And I said, how come can she do it to me? So I was so sad, I was so lost. And when I started reading the book, I thought that this was a part of me, this happy person that was enjoying living, but I had another part of me that I didn't want to acknowledge. And uh, reading the book, I, th I just saw that I have created uh, the cancer. And afterwards, I read the Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself, and I made the, the meditations. Then I saw that it was fear, guilt, and all these low levels, <laughs> energies that I was leading with them the whole time. And I start since then, I have been doing the meditations uh, every day. There are some days that I don't want, that I, I, I do it, but I see that my body doesn't want to do it. And I said, you can do what you want. You sit the whole meditation. If you don't want to, to go with me and meditate, we are just going to spend some time together, just sitting here and waiting the time to go through. And there are other situations that I, I have such a place that afterwards I, I have a room that I meditate. When I open the door, my husband tells me, do I have to be jealous from Joe Dispenza? Because he said, you are glowing. <laughs> it's like uh, you are a different person. So, um, but I was having these troubles with, with, uh, with uh, my guts and I was very afraid to come to Mallorca because I thought to myself, during a meditation, how can I go to the toilet? I cannot come back again. So uh, I was very worried. Lindsay was so nice. She was always keeping a place for me outside, but I have never had to interrupt a meditation to, to go uh, to the toilet. And the second day from, from, the, from the retreat, I had a meditation that I had, have never felt such a feeling like this. I was so overwhelmed that I couldn't stop crying the whole day. I was just in a place that I didn't think that it was possible to feel such a feeling. Uh, and, and afterwards, I was like doing the meditations and I wasn't feeling anything for, for two days. And I thought to myself, it doesn't matter. If it was this, just this one, it was the one. It, 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 I really don't care. And then I had filled an application for the healing because I thought it would be the greatest gift that I could ever have to be healed from, from this kind of condition and living a normal life again. And then the greatest challenge was for me the challenge because I didn't know how will my body react when I am in such a state of, of fear 
that I, I just, it's going to be so shameful. How am I going to deal with this situation with all these people? I don't know them very well, but it's, 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 it's very, very difficult for me. And then during the meditations, during the walking meditations, I was telling myself, I'm safe. I know, I know that I can do it. And, and when I saw the whole thing, I thought, oh, it's, it's normal. I mean, I can do it. And then I was climbing the stairs, and, and then there were, there were always one more, one more. And I said, oh, I didn't realize that it's so high. <laughs> and then when I just turned around and, and I saw the things, I was holding here and I was holding. I couldn't let it go. Suddenly I was shaking the whole body. And I thought, how am I going to move? And I told to myself, you are moving. You are leaving all this fear behind you. And I said, it doesn't matter how long it takes. I would just do it. And then suddenly I could, I, I could let my hands go and I was still shaking and I was taking one step like and not, and not the other and I was always telling myself you can do it you know that I can do it and when I was done I was just I just made a cry and I said oh this fear now I just jump and and I don't uh, and I don't care and I was in the cage and today I had I was at the restaurant after breakfast and I knew oh I have to go to the toilet my first instinct was, oh, you have a toilet here. I said, no, you have one in your room. We are going to walk to the room in a normal pace because you are healed. You don't have to worry about this anymore. I just went to my room. I took my bags. I made a tea. And afterwards, I went to the toilet. And I was sitting and crying because I was so thankful and that is such like it was my biggest dream but I told Lindsay today I don't know if it's the story it belongs so to the past that I don't have even the feeling that it, it belongs to me anymore I don't know what what I should say and then she said maybe there is someone out there with the same problem and the doctors always, always told me you cannot do anything that you don't have the muscle anymore it's going to get worse and then I, I was flicking out and said, if it gets worse, I cannot leave the house. And now I know, I know in my heart that I'm free. Even if I go home and I have all the situations that I had before, the new me doesn't have this, this history anymore. It belongs to, to, to the past. It's like I'm speaking about someone else. It doesn't have anything to do with me anymore. And it's such a freedom that it's, it's hardly to, 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 to describe. It's like I have been born again. It was such a wonderful week. I, 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 just, I just cannot thank him uh, this much. I know we did the work together. <laughs> he, he, he led me through the work, the work I was doing myself. But it was, we were a wonderful team.